Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, I'm Jan, and in this video I'm going to show you um, real examples of uh, using Fibonacci lines in my trading. So I was recording videos for the week, last week, uh, which were four trading days, and every time before placing the trades, I was making the video about um, my analysis, how I was thinking the market will move, and I was using Fibonacci lines before placing the orders, and uh, predicting uh, where it should move and uh, what kind of profit I'm going to make. So, um, it's uh, it, it was all recorded in real life, and you're going to see it, so you can see and understand how I do it, and uh, hopefully it will be useful for you, so you would understand a little bit better how to... Uh, predict uh, the market movements using Fibonacci uh, lines. So you can see uh, this is the week and uh, we had four uh, trading days and um, using just 10 pips uh, per day uh, the profit uh, would have been 40 pips and using Fibonacci lines and uh, placing some more orders uh, the target the profit would have been 180 pips. So I made around 120 Sometimes I was placing just uh, 15, uh, 10 pips profit target and uh, sometimes I was placing it more using Fibonacci lines. Uh, but I wasn't watching the screen so that's why um, it was less than 180. But um, if uh, you would watch the screen, you can watch my previous video about Fibonacci, how Fibonacci works and uh, the way how you can trade it, not just daily trading but uh, using it for trading for a few days. And uh, of course, getting more profit than just uh, uh, getting um, a daily uh, profits, which is my target around usually between 10 to 30 pips, uh, 30, 40, maybe 50 pips. So uh, that's what I'm going to show you uh, every day uh, how I was um, draw how I was drawing the the lines and how I was thinking, and also I will be showing you the next day when the market moved and uh, what it looked like and what the profit was and uh, so I trade few accounts and um, some of them I place uh, 10 pips profit um, some of them using Fibonacci lines profit so uh, I decided to show you one of my little ones right here you can see all the trades worked and uh, you can see this is starting from the 14th uh, October I also have here previous trades but um, uh, I decided to make uh, to show you exactly this week because every day it's uh, mostly exactly the same I do um, looking at uh, the chart and thinking what is going to happen but you can see it's from the 14th these are the small trades because in hundred dollar as I'm telling you uh, you have to think about risks and I was placing between uh, 10 cents uh, uh, a pip uh, up to 50 cents a pip uh, it depends usually I would put like a higher um, higher risk for 10 pips because um, I think it's more uh, it's easier to get just 10 pips than to try to get um, more pips using Fibonacci lines when you're not watching the screen so I think it's a bit more risky so um, as you can see I was uh, placing uh, around 10 pips um, per uh, 10 cents per pip and uh, when I was going for the smaller profit this was only like 10 pips target I was going it was like about 50 cents a pip and you can see it's uh, all the trades one of them you can see one of the trades is minus uh, 12 which uh, was uh, 40 cents uh, a pip and um, it was on the last day it was on Friday 17th uh, you can see this one's on uh, the screen right here and I'm going to show you what happened all these days and uh, exactly this one day also uh, why we had uh, minus in this one and but also we had plus so this this day come out um, uh, with profit but uh, you will understand the risks uh, what happens when you don't watch the screen and um, and uh, what profit you can make and also what the risk you are taking so I think it's going to be good examples and uh, so uh, it's going to be a long video but I hope you will understand a little bit more uh, by seeing uh, uh, real life uh, examples of how to use Fibonacci lines. So, okay, now you can watch the uh, my trade trades <laughs> using the Fibonacci lines. Okay, guys, um, let's see one of the example. We have a real life um, market, and it's 14th of October, and uh, it's about 3:30 um, 
a MGMT and it's euro USD 15 minute chart you can see we have a little channel which is um, it's kind of alright but um, it's started to form after one o'clock and uh, before the market actually went up and then it went down so it's not very strong channel I'd say it's very risky channel but I want to make um, a video to show you an example of uh, how we can um, of course risk it and try to uh, use Fibonacci lines so um, first of all we're going to look at a one hour chart USD, and just to see what was happening to the market and what is going on so we can kind of predict where it will be going and so we can you know that the market uh, was going down quite a while and after this big drop again uh, it's finally started to uh, go back up correcting itself let's say and so we could have draw our Fibonacci lines you can see this one this is Fibonacci retracement uh, I'm drawing from the lower of uh, the uptrend to the higher of uh, the uptrend and uh, I usually also uh, draw it using the bodies but uh, we can do uh, draw top of the wings it all depends sometimes you can do it just to see a little bit uh, that market can be a little bit lower a little bit down so but usually uh, I draw it on the bodies so uh, so uh, we have done this because we have um, uh, again downtrend so market decided to correct the uptrend and now we can see that the whole our um, market the all the candles are stuck in the middle inside that channel inside the uptrend so um, right here when we're thinking to put our trade so it's usual uh, my system is usually I use so it would be 10 pips up and 10 pips down but as I said with fiber lines we can um, improve and try to earn a little bit more pips um, and that's how we can do it so we can see that um, uh, Yes, this downtrend it went into six to sixty one, and usually what we would uh, think that um, uh, that from here the market should uh, go up again, and it will continue to go higher and higher. And now we need to know actually where it will go because we have no any more uh, lines up there. For that, we're going to draw uh, another Fibonacci retracement but from the top of the downtrend to the bottom of the downtrend right here again and now we can see uh, the correction of the downtrend again the uptrend and it also reached uh, so it's broke the 50 and 60 levels which we know the most important levels and um, it's trying to go uh, higher but uh, now it's all returned back to our entry point to the market so we're going to enter here and of course nobody knows will it continue going higher going up or maybe it will not go up might go down and uh, so we don't know exactly but we're thinking that it should actually go up and um, uh, as you know the Fibonacci don't work 100% you know 100% accurate but it gives the, us an impression what to do and how to place our orders and uh, so if the market will go up we can uh, expect we, we can see that uh, it does go up but uh, this um, side of the market uh, this stops right here so we can see that this level is still higher than that so we see it might actually go down again uh, but first of all of course if it will go up it would have to break that level 100 and then go higher and try to get to level 161 and uh, that's quite uh, a big distance here so it's well it's more than 100 100 pips and uh, that means it's probably more than that that means that um, it's not going to happen in one day unless there are some very important news which we do not expect this week we have news there will be but not a uh, major and huge news uh, I would say so uh, that's why I can say that um, 
I would think that the market might move to this point or maybe a little bit lower um, during the week. So probably going to take it a few days. But you never know. It might take it a um, few days. It might take it a whole week. Just if we would look at here, which also was quite a big move. So roughly, let's say, uh, it was... Um, well, that was about 200 or 200 pips. And um, so that means... And it took about a week. It took a week. So I would say that probably it would take a week, maybe less, a few days. Um, but how are we going to trade uh, this? So if the market is going up, I would, how I like to do it is, well, if we would look at this and think uh, it will only go and reach this level, it's, it can make us 50 pips. Uh, but it would should definitely make me uh, my 10 pips because I only need to move market from this point about 30 pips because 2 pips up and uh, 10 pips to make my profit. So kind of more uh, guaranteed. That's why I kind, kind of go quite often for just 10 pips profit. But uh, so you can risk and um, try to reach this level which, is, uh, which can bring me 50 pips or uh, going for a few days and it might reach uh, the top level 161 but I'll probably go for a little bit lower if you have no ability to watch the market then you would probably uh, go for these targets uh, but if you have ability to watch the market the best way to do and that's how I used to do it and if I have um, um, ability to watch the market so I would usually close if it goes up, I close 10 pips, some um, lots, I would close some positions, let's say not lots, a uh, few positions and then just continue, uh, keep going uh, the rest of the positions up to when the market is going high and higher, you just change a uh, stop loss and um, every time it goes up, you're changing the stop loss, not, not too far if you want to really reach a high level, so probably keeping about 30 pips uh, below. Um, the, the current price, although it will be, for example, here, so you keep 30 pips below it. But um, you know, if it reaches 50 and you move, uh, and something happens, market move back, you have your 10 pip profit, and you will not be able to lose anything. So that's kind of the option. The so one uh, position. So we're doing again. Uh, if the market goes up, so we can put the pending orders. Uh, at night so um, again my 10 pips pending order it could be and uh, also instead of 10 pips as I said if you can't watch it you can uh, put for example 50 pips so about maybe this line so well obviously if it will get to this point it will break it but it's, as I said it might not do it in, in one day so it might take um, a few days to reach uh, the level we need but you can risk and you can make more than just 10 pips so what is going to happen if the market will go down and uh, so how to um, predict where it will go so now we kind of know our levels around here we don't need this level so we can uh, get rid of them and um, I still have these ones but what we're doing, uh, we're trying to just draw this little one and see uh, where that downtrend from the little uptrend is going to go. Um, and we still have this up, the, the big one. You see, I didn't remove these lines because, as I said, if the market would go down even more and trying to break that one, it will go down and we would uh, it would be useful to use uh, also the lines of that trend um, until it will break uh, that um, level 100. Uh, so here uh, is also going to look for uh, usually the, the most important levels. It's 50 and uh, 61. And so to not mess up, let's say uh, it's this ones. So we'll have 61 around here because the next levels are from the big move, from that, the big one. So we're concentrating right now for the small movement. It's going to be 
around here 61 which is about uh, this point around this point yeah that's the 61 from the little and so that's around um, well saying about what 50 roughly 50 pips you have here so which is also again if you have uh, no uh, if it's not possible to watch the market you can place the orders and instead of 10 pips you can uh, try to uh, take 50 pips profit uh, so you can probably just maybe put it a slightly higher, so put, let's say put it between 50 and 60 around this area uh, because we also have that uh, the, the bigger move also line here, so probably we'll just go for this one, um, which is it's going to be roughly, um, well, let's say about 40 pips um, from here, um, well, which is not going to be really... 40 pips because we need 20 pips is our uh, entry point so we're like drawing 20 pips below the bottom line so if it's 20 so we need uh, 10 and we need uh, rough so roughly I would say probably 10 pips because here it's um, possible that the market can stop here around 50 60 and then uh, go back uh, and try to actually continue our uptrend and uh, move higher. Uh, so uh, in this situation again, uh, if it's actually going to break uh, position, break 50 or 60 and continue uh, going down, it will reach probably this line and of course it will be trying to reach this which is uh, about 100 pips, trying to uh, go down more and more. which is going to happen in, again can happen in a few days not in just one day uh, but um, as I said it depends how uh, long you're going to trade if you will be able to watch the market so if you don't if you're not going to watch the market as I'm saying um, you can go for as I said for let's say 50 60 uh, to be safe so you probably just go down for just 10 pips profit or if you are going to watch, then when the market goes down, as I said, and you reach the level 50, 60, you can take, you can close some positions at 10, so you'll have some profit, and then you just move your stop loss, because the stop loss will be somewhere around here, so you just move a little bit stop loss, and every time the market goes down, you move the stop loss, and you move the stop loss, and uh, you just continue uh, going until uh, the market um, uh, reverses and uh, you're going to um, finally close your profit but uh, again if uh, we can see if uh, the market as I said so we kind of uh, thinking that if the market would go down and uh, break this position that position position so we would uh, expect it to go to this levels around these levels before it uh, it's probably will be trying to uh, correct itself again and then continue going down and trying to reach that level. Uh, so, well, that's how um, I think that's how we're going to see what's going to happen during the week. And that's how you can use Fibonacci lines. That's how I used to use it. And sometimes I use it, I also use it. But uh, the best uh, for me, the Fibonacci lines working uh, when I'm trading news, uh, it's very helpful to find out when to uh, try to take uh, the most profit. But if you prefer and you are ready to um, risk a little bit more to try to get a little bit more profit, then um, that's the way how you can do it. Okay, guys, so uh, let's see what happened to the market during the day. Uh, 14th October 2014 so in previous part you saw that I was uh, drawing my channel again and I was explaining how I use Fibonacci lines, Fibonacci lines. and uh, so let's see what happened and um, if uh, the theory worked or not and how much we could earn. Obviously you can see on the screen already that the market moved uh, and I starting with one hour chart again so you can see it's here USD again and uh, that was our move uh, 
last uh, day, the previous day, this is what was the uptrend, and I draw the FIBA lines, and uh, now I'm going to back to 15 minute chart and now you understand where we had the fiber lines i changed the color a little bit because they were yellow not as visible and now um it's a bit orangey color you can see this orangey color these are fibonacci lines and so here we are you can see that that was the channel last night i was drawing it and i was um, analyzing that the market could either move up and uh, the market could move down uh, like a correction to that um, uptrend so and uh, as you remember uh, as usual what i was um, saying to you that i draw the lines and uh, it was uh, obvious we could have make out 10 pips and we could have make more than 10 pips up to 30 pips on um, a day of, of trading as i said to you that um, right now i don't really watch the screen because it's not possible for me as I'm traveling and uh, obviously right now also while the move uh, happens I'm, I'm not able to watch the screen because uh, it's a night time in uh, the area where I am now that's why uh, last night I put the trades uh, as usual my 10 pips so I made 10 pips plus additionally I made 30 pips because I put the other trade um, exit at um, the uh, level 61 uh, one of the important levels on Fibonacci lines and I put it slightly higher than the level just in case and um, as you can see the market moved quite smoothly uh, from well wherever after six o'clock something started to move as usual in the morning it, it's GMT again AM and it's actually reached not just 61 it's reached the 78 level and the whole day the market was moving between these two important levels okay guys so um uh, let's see what is going to happen uh, this new day is 15th october we have again live um, trading uh, market here you can see it's three o'clock gmt in the morning and uh, that's what shows on my um, screen and this is one hour chart euro usd and uh, i have a little bit mess here from the previous day I decided just to leave it but uh, just i wanted you to see what is happening so we still have this uptrend uh, which is um, uh, still haven't closed that's how I, I like to say it so we have uh, the top and the bottom and uh, our market is still inside uh, that channel so we didn't break it so it didn't go up and didn't go down so it's kind of stuck in the middle and today we're looking at um, uh, again so we can see that uh, the market moved after nine o'clock uh, after 10 so we have uh, this is kind of a little channel which is already forming and we're going to uh, again think and analyze the market and think where it's going to move so we can make uh, uh, not just 10 pips but make some more profits on that move so uh, first of all I'm going to uh, draw the channel again from the uh, bottom to the top and uh, right now I don't need these lines but I just wanted to show you uh, uh, so if we think if this uh, market is going to move up uh, then it should break that level first and then it's going to move to these three levels but to make that big move we really need uh, something important some big news maybe because it's around 100 pips move and to reach the next levels it's uh, 140 pips and uh, 160 pips you can see to reach like level 138 as we will be thinking if it will be uh, uh, uptrend uh, so that's kind of very big move and uh, if you're not watching the screen I would say that's quite risky to reach that level without the watching the screen so I would go for uh, lower um, profits targets let's say but uh, that's what we will be expecting if the market moves up so it should go um, around this level to go up uh, but if we would look at the actually current position what's happening that this uh, level is uh, higher and that one is lower so we can kind of think that market is going down except that bottom of uh, the downtrend is lower than that bottom so we can think that maybe market goes up so we have like a, a bit um, 
kind of hard situation right now. We don't know exactly what's going to happen. We don't really need to know, as I say, if uh, we're only going for some positions during the day. So, uh, and using the channel as an entry point. Uh, that, that's why uh, it's nice that strategy because we don't really need to exactly know where it moves as long as it moves one or the other direction. So we kind of forget about this uptrend for now. I'm going to remove these lines. So I will be taking uh, fiber and drawing it right here first. So we can see what was happening uh, because we had this um, uh, downtrend. And we want to see if it will uh, correct itself. So it was going backwards just a little bit. It stopped around level 23 and it's returned to our bottom line. And you can see uh, it's again is broke down and looks like it's actually uh, moving down and probably going down more trying to break this level, which is roughly uh, our 138 position. And this will be one of our target lines if the market goes down tomorrow uh, today <laughs> so roughly around here so we still can make out 10 pips if it only reaches if it's only going to reach 138 we're going to see on the 15 minute chart uh, how to draw uh, to draw um, the channel so to make our 10 pips because we really need about 30 pips move from this bottom line to make our 10 pips profit so uh, if we will be thinking that is finally going to break that level and move down that it should go to 161 first and then hopefully it will reach 200 so if we're not going to watch the market then we would probably better go just for 161 but if you're going to watch the market then i would say you can put a lump on fiber line so the first alarm is going to be 138 where we're going to collect uh, some of our profits from uh, this entry point and then we're going to move again our stop loss from here is going to 30 pips above right so we're moving about 10 pips uh, uh, down and again 10 pips down uh, when the next uh, is going to be reached by 164 level 164 and uh, moving down moving down and also we will be moving from the previous trade if you had it open it will be also moving down and you will be also moving your stop losses so that would uh, be a very good um, plan <laughs> we'll see what's going to happen but at this point i would say that probably um so i will be going for my usual 10 pips profit trying to take 10 pips down and uh, profit 10 pips up and uh, if you can't watch the screen uh, and if you will be placing the trades if i would be doing it uh, without watching the screen and what i'm going to do is to uh, going up for the uptrend i will be placing uh, the profit target around 5061 and uh, for the downtrend i will be uh, trying to uh, put the orders and take the profit it will be targeted around 164 so roughly the next day should bring me around uh, again between 10 to 30 pips so that's kind of uh, the plan so we'll see what's going to happen but uh, as i say if you have ability to watch the market then uh, moving stop loss every time it moves to the next line uh, that's quite a good possibility to make uh, much more uh, pips than just uh, 10 to 30 so uh, we'll see what's going to happen in the morning okay guys so uh, let's see what happened today uh, 15th october 2014 um, what kind of um, trades we had and how the market moved and how much pips you could have made using uh, my system and uh, Fibonacci lines. So uh, as you remember in previous part, uh, we had our little channel again uh, in the morning, GMT. So I was drawing it uh, around 3 uh, a.m. GMT around here. Uh, so I had as usual my little channel and I draw uh, as usual 20 pips up and 20 pips down and uh, the profit 10 pips up and 10 pips down and also using Fibonacci lines I uh, put the other order uh, to make uh, 40 pips uh, which were round level 61 and also I had another order which would go down uh, so I made an uh, order around 138 160 so somewhere around here so as you remember uh, before 
uh, I was telling you that we were thinking that the market might go down and reach this area. If it would be news, it would go much lower. And um, if the market would go other way, which it actually did, as you can see now, it's a still live um, chart. Right now it's uh, the 16th and 3 o'clock in, in the morning GMT. So uh, that uh, is, remember I told you, if there will be good news, the market will go up and will break uh, the 100 level and also will continue to um, move even higher. But we didn't know if it would happen or not. There were some news I knew about, but uh, you never know how far uh, market would move. And I always say with Fibonacci lines, you can make very good profit if you are actually watching the um, screen. So um, that day you could um, easily walk out with um, profit 100 pips. And uh, that's how I used to trade before uh, when I was able to watch the market. Uh, today I wasn't able to watch it. Uh, and uh, so I will only walk out with my usual 10 pips and also I walk, walked out with uh, 40 pips profit. So now uh, let's see uh, what would happen if uh, I would watch the market and if you would follow also the system which I'm trying to teach you and show you the way I uh, used to do it. Um, so how, how would you um, could make uh, this 100 pips in just one day. So uh, you see that was the channel as usual and um, and by the way uh, many of you are asking so why we have stop loss 30 pips why wouldn't you just do instead 20 pips because look at this um, when we put this uh, trades uh, for the market you can see that um, uh, the market went, uh, took us in the trade right here and uh, from that point if you would have only 20 pips stop loss then you, see, you can see it would stop right here where the uh, our channel and you would have been um, in loss so you would lose 20 pips but because we had 30 uh, it's right below the um, our channel and uh, so when the market moved backwards a little bit we it didn't touch the stop loss and uh, so it returned back and started to move of course on the news when the news release uh, it's actually moved before that because the news were um, i think around 12 30 and they made lots of news uh, for us and uh, actually the first profit for 10 pips uh, i already made uh, around 11 o'clock uh, but for the 40 I was uh, still in, in the trade. So when the news came out, I was already in the trade for the 40 pips. So um, that's why you 30 pips is uh, stop losses for a reason. <laughs> so I guess I answered your question because many of you are asking. And um, so here we are. Um, we uh, had the market moved. Actually, the market moved perfectly how it would usually move because look, previously we thought uh, we had like really big move up. You can see it's a half of the move up. Then the market um, went down and we were expecting uh, what Fibonacci usually works. So it, it reached this move, reached I think around 60 uh, points, um, around 60 level and then it was supposed to uh, go higher and actually it was supposed to go higher and break that level but in this part it didn't happen and um, here uh, it happened exactly what you expect from um, Fibonacci kind of theory the market moved up and it um, corrected itself and it moved up and broke that top so this is if the market would always move like this by using Fibonacci that would have been just uh, perfect and making money all the time but uh, it, it's not uh, happening always uh, that's why I like to use my system and draw the channels and do all the entry points 20 pips up 20 pips down but as I said with uh, using Fibonacci lines not just 10 pips you can make much more so as you can see the market moved so how you could trade as I said I'm made 10 pips and I made an extra 40 pips by using Fibonacci line and taking the profit from the one of the important levels 61 but if I would have been watching the screen again then I would have just moved my stop loss as I told you every time it reaches the important levels you just move your stop loss uh, 10 pips higher from your previous one so well let's say if uh, when it moved to 61 you move your pro uh, you move your stop loss 
so it's uh, around 30 pips it would be around here just right uh, slightly below level 38 uh, then it reached level 100 that was uh, one of the important points here uh, when it reached that top uh, so we could have made 80 pips uh, here too we could have closed some positions maybe and leave the rest to run just to see what would happen but you know when the news like this will happen what you could do if you would be very quick and lucky enough and the broker could offer you a really good option to come out from the trade but because it was um, like this wing then you uh, there is no guarantee on this one that you could have a right price to come out from the trade so i'm not going to lie to you and tell you the fairy tale like you could have really make uh, let's say 200 pips on this right move or 170s you would reach right to this maybe if you would risk it you could have done it but uh, usually um, well i trade safely that that's why I'm, i wouldn't do it but uh, anyway let's just check check out um, um, the other fibonacci lines because uh, as that level is important 100 it's breaking our up movement the previous up movement and we also have another top right here uh, which is also important and we're expecting uh, market to break that level too so we know if it will break level this level and then next this level then it should go even higher but how far we would think it should go so that's why i would draw uh, the other fibonacci lines again from the previous um, move up uh, which i was showing to you uh, earlier so i would say probably here when it was around 100 around this area then i would think that the next it should move up to 138 after 138 it would should go for 161 and then it should reach 200 so it's it's it would have been the perfect moment because look around 200 we can say that you see it finishes there are no any more any lines so that means that this uptrend uh would say it worked out itself so if you know that the market can move right here and you can come out here i would probably close all the trades right here and come out with the best profit because you know that when the news happening which i will be making video about the trading the news um that the market would roughly move can move up to 200 maybe slightly more but you know it wouldn't move much more than that so we have like another level but it's very high and it's just uh, not uh higher probability is going to go so high so you say 100 pips you expect to walk away on a good news day 200 if you're lucky 150 maybe so as i say when if you're watching the market and you can see it moves very fast in your favor in your direction which was which was perfect and then you see the market actually goes and reaches this level 161 so if i would have been watching it i would have been trying to close the positions around this but as i say if the market moves very fast so it might jump higher maybe it would have closed you right here or it might jump back and you might come out with your trade around here but doesn't matter you would still it's definitely on this move you would have made 100 pips well i'm telling like how i would do it so uh, for me that would have been 100 uh, 100 uh, pips um sorry if i say some uh, kind of a really different uh, not sound right i'm saying lots or pips you know what i mean i'm trying um, i mean always in pips so 100 pips not 100 dollars just 100 pips and it depends how much you uh trade you can trade one dollar a pip one ten dollars a pip you can trade 10 cents a pip it's all in pips so we have 100 pips profit on this trade but as i say if you would have been um, moving uh, your stop loss 30 pips below just to be safer just in case you never know what can happen so when the market would move from this level 118 to another uh, from 100 it would move to 118 so uh, we could have when it would reach we could have uh, moved our stop right to again not right to here but 30 pips below it so um, if it would be 30 pips below it so you could have walked out still with just 80 pips profit but 
um, you could have, uh, if you will check, let's say five minutes, we can see what was happening out there at that time when we had, um, we have 100. So um, that was our 100, but actually uh, looks like you, no, you would walk away with about, you could have walked away with about 100 pips because we have 100 pips just slightly higher than 80. So um, looks like that move might be, wasn't even that um, quick or fast because we still have uh, quite good uh, bodies of the candles. It's the only this part of uh, the candle was very quick. So you could have closed here your positions or moved 30 pips and walk away with the profit between 80 uh, to 100 or even more than 100, like 150 you could walk away with if you would close at level uh, 60, 160, then it looks like it was possible when you're looking on that other one. So you could have walked away with about 180, 170 pips. So, um, but like, not going to be too excited. But still 100 pips, it was very good possibility to make uh, that kind of profit. So that was a really good uh, trade and um, perfect. Uh, 16th October, again 2014. And uh, right now is around 4 a.m. GMT. I'm going to place my uh, order soon. But uh, before that, we're going to um, see what uh, I'm thinking was going to happen next day. So uh, you see we had uh, the previous day, the market was going up and now I can draw my Fibonacci lines. It's a one hour chart on um, Euro USD. And uh, now, uh, so we're going to think that maybe it will be correction of that uptrend or uh, probably the market will continue uh, going higher. So now we're going to 15 minute chart and um, as usual. So. Uh, what I'm looking at, I have my channel, as you can see, it moved, um, um, so the market moved up and then uh, returned to this little channel, which happened actually again before 12 o'clock, uh, but then market moved up a little bit and now it's going back to this little channel. So I drew it this way and um, going to make an order soon, pretty soon. Uh, but so what I'm thinking of, if it will go down, will be correction so um i would think as usual we know that we think in the market would go to the important level uh, 50 61 and possibly 78 we will have uh, news that day but not as huge news as uh, we had previous day in here lots of news not very good news for us that's why the market moved up um today we will have news uh, not um, as many as it was yesterday, not as important as uh, yesterday. And so on kind of that kind of day, I would think the market might move up to 100 pips. Um, well, maybe maximum, I would say. So it might come back to 61. But in this uh, at this point, I would probably better to uh, watch the uh, market to reach these levels. So uh, to be a bit safer, I would probably put my trade as usual 10 pips down, try to get uh, my um, usual target and also probably uh, around uh, probably around 38 just to be safe because it's already going to be around the 49, 50 pips um, target from uh, the channel. So uh, roughly if it's 50 pips uh, move down, and I have my 20 pips safety, so it's uh, 30 is 10. I mean, so it's about 30 pips down. I'm, I'm thinking of uh, uh, to get as a profit. But the plan, if watching the screen is usual, we are hoping the market would go to level 61, 78. But every time the market goes down and down, we just change in the stop loss. And uh, so the other option again, if the market will go up. From that, same thing. I'm planning to make my 30, uh, my 10 pips, which I need 30 pips uh, movement up. And uh, which is going to happen is because it's around here, and you see it's not um, that far to make it 30. But I would think that it should move at least up to level 118 and make now 50 pips, which is 
So it also should be roughly to make uh, 30 pips profit. So the movement of 50 pips should bring us roughly 30 uh, pips profit. So let's see what happened on the 16th of October. Uh, what kind of trades we had and what kind of profits we uh, walked away and could walk away also. So here we are, uh, we have uh, the chart. Uh, here is um, this one hour chart, Euro USD, uh, with the results of what happened um, um, today. So we had this uptrend, as you remember, and uh, from that I was looking for um, a for the trades for the next day to see where the market should move and so I'll go back to 15 minute chart so you remember we draw these Fibonacci lines and uh, we had the channel here which is I say the hard channel because the market was kind of moving up all day and in the evening so it started to come down then it went up and then it come back and uh, created this channel too which is together with that channel that's how i draw it and as usual uh, as you remember i told you that um, i was uh, analyzing the market and using the fibonacci line thinking that from this channel it would have been it would have moved around 100 pips because we had some news but they were not very important news so um, uh, but they were the news which would move the market for at least around 50 to 100 pips Either direction, we didn't know where it go, either up or down. But um, as the market moved down, as uh, I was expecting, it stopped around 60 uh, Fibonacci line. So um, as usual, I made uh, my 10 pips profit, and uh, I was trying to play safe, and I wanted to come out at 38 level. So that's what I did. I closed uh, the trade around here because I wasn't watching the screen and uh, so i walked away with 10 pips and i walked away with 30 pips profit but in the other scenario if i would have been watching the channel that's how i used to trade uh, i would have watched it and i would have closed few positions as usual at uh, 10 pips and uh, waiting for the market go to level 38 and i would move my stop loss uh, 38 from that um, line uh, 30 pips from um, the Fibonacci line and then I would be waiting for a market to move and um, to 50 and stop move stop loss and also when it would touch the 61 I would move it to 30 and then the market would return it would have touched uh, somewhere around our stop loss and uh, at the end of the day we would walk away with 50 pips profit so um, not bad, I would say, but um, if you would have wanted to close the trades completely that day, so you could have closed at 61 level, which would have made you about 80 pips total. Uh, but uh, as usual, we were trying to catch maybe a longer move, so it would have been expecting it to move more and more and move in the stop loss, then you would uh, walk away with 50 pips profit. So that's how uh, you could have made uh, more uh, pips on that day, more profit by watching the screen and using the Fibonacci lines. Uh, it's 17th of October, it's uh, around 5 o'clock in the morning, so let's see what uh, is uh, happening right here and what I'm going to do, uh, what kind of trades I'm thinking to put in and uh, where to take profits. So uh, this is a 15 minute chart and uh, as you can see I have here a little uptrend and now I'm, I draw the uh, Fibonacci lines as usual you see from the bottom uh, of this trend to uh, the top of it and uh, the market stopped around level 23 and as usual I'm, I'm having here a small channel so around here you can see that one is uh, come out a little bit from it uh, and uh, so from that one I'm expecting uh, the movement of the market for example it might go down and um, stop at level 61 so i would say that i would probably going to make my uh, 10 pips profit around here as usual because we need about 30 pips movement uh 20 pips down and now 10 to make profit and also i can uh, think that it might move to 78 and if we are having expecting a downtrend uh, movement so it might move to 100 and if i will draw the channel from the top of the downtrend to the bottom because you can see that this channel is now is um, creating 
around this downtrend so between this top and this bottom so it's kind of inside that channel of course it's going to break it at one point maybe not today maybe today there will be some news but um, not expecting as uh, strong news as it was yesterday so if there would be um, kind of uh, sky, uh, for example mild news so I would think it might move well let's say 100 pips yes so it might reach level um, 100 even 127 138 so I, I would be expecting for example if there will be uh, enough movement on the market today so it will probably try to reach 138 uh, if not if it will uh, be slower so I would say around only 50 so well let's say safer I would stop around 78 uh, levels so right here but um, watching the uh, chart today as usual uh, you would be uh, placing the trades as usual and changing the stop losses and uh, moving down but as I say we'll be trying to get to target 138 but it all will be uh, visible uh, how the market moves during the day how strong it is so this is what would happen if the market go down now what would happen if the market would go up and again from the top line of uh, the channel roughly here uh, so we'll have that level uh, so if that would go on up as you can see we have here uh, important level and uh, we have another two levels here and I would think the market is probably will be trying to reach also that height so um, around here between 161 138 so we have about uh, eight pips something so I would think it's probably going to try to reach a higher level 161 maybe even go high if there will be news so uh, if we will be watching again we will be trading step by step, moving the stop loss. But I'm not going to watch it, so I'm trying to think what to do and uh, how to place the trade. So I will be placing the trades as usual, uh, ten, uh, trying to get my 10 pips profit. So I need about 30 uh, something pips movement. So it should be around here somewhere. Will the market reach it? I think it will because, so here's how I see it. We have here one top, as I said, another and three. Three tops we have here. So I would say, I would think, market will reach it and it will try to break it and if it will break that level it definitely is going up and trying to reach higher levels at least up to 138 so it depends if there will be uh, let's say not very strong news so I would think it will probably stop around here and close the date maybe around here if there will be good news um, strong movable news so around 100 and maybe higher so we would uh, think uh, the level 161 uh, that day so uh, I will be placing the the trades probably um, so if I will be trying let's say to get around level 78 roughly 50 pips from the uh, level 23 from the channel so it will be slightly less than 50 down and around 50 up so I would probably uh, will go for the trade uh, just below 138 and trying to make uh, 50 pips which should bring me around 30 pips profit so um, that's how um, I'm gonna um, place my trades today and we're gonna see tomorrow what's gonna happen okay guys so let's have a look what was happening on 17th of October uh, how the market moved and how much we could earn possibly and lose yes uh, we had some loss uh, on Friday and I'm going to show you what happened so as you remember yesterday I was looking at uh, the channel uh, and um, I had my Fibonacci lines and uh, you can see we had not very good channel and I was uh, probably saying that that the channel was really really hard and uh, if you trading using the system you probably wouldn't go for that trade but I decided to uh, risk it to try it because I've been uh, doing all the week uh, from Tuesday I missed Monday so I thought from Tuesday till Friday I will uh, go for these trades to show you live uh, market to see how it works and what happens and what risks we are thinking of taking by um, trading it like that so first of all when we look at one hour chart 
So I don't remember, I think I actually even said to you that I would probably miss that day and wouldn't trade it if I wouldn't be making it just to uh, show it to you. But because the market was not very pretty, I would say, because look what was happening that um, one day market moved up and we had like this really, really big uh, wing. And spike, I like to call them spikes, really. And um, that's kind of always worry when something like this happens because you know that the market is kind of unstable for me. And um, in in my eyes, I would say. So the market moved up and then it was correcting itself. It's actually reached the level 60s. You remember it was 78 level. And also we had here is a bit spiky, as you can see also here. So that's another thing which we really need to think of and uh, so the market after that tried to correct again and uh, it's kind of stopped here and you see we were right around here and uh, we were like thinking maybe it would go up uh, pro probably or we'll try to go down so we're still kind of inside this movement and now we were stuck in inside this downtrend moving and in now inside that uptrend moving so it's getting like narrow and narrow and narrow so it's less stable i would say but i still decided to have the risk and also there is another thing uh on one hour chart you can see it was a little bit hard to draw uh, Fibonacci lines because we have spike here and here and usually I try I like to draw it uh, using the bodies of the candles so here if I would draw it by the bodies of the candles then a 15 minute chart it also wouldn't look right so that's why probably it would have been better to avoid the trades uh, completely but let's say I took the risk because um, you never know what can happen so yes i did it and you can see on the 15 minute chart but the spikes were very very long so that's what i'm trying to say here is not as bad but this one is quite bad so that's why it's kind of a little bit risky so um as usual we had our channel very bad channel again i'm saying to you um better not to trade this because you see how big the distance is between the candles which are trying to go back into the channel you see the distance here distance here and mostly the candles didn't stop inside and they didn't create um, the most of the candles inside like if it would look like this we would like to see something more which would look like this so candle and candle candle and candle in inside the um channel but um i decided just to uh, give it a try because as you remember again uh, so we have here level 23 and that was um, my uh, top line for the channel. So I was thinking, okay, let's see, can I make at least my 10 pips profit that day? So I was drawing the line up and uh, looking at it, if it will reach this level, I probably ain't going to make my 30 pips. Uh, 30 pips movement, I need to make 20, uh, 10 pips profit. And But I had this little wing and I thought, okay, so... I really need just a little bit to move and I probably will be with profit that day and that's why I decided okay so I will put the orders and as you can see market moved and I made my 10 pips so uh, very uh, uh, kind of tiny tiny but <laughs> possibility but it was it happened so I made my 10 pips just uh, how I thought it will happen and I was thinking what would happen, how to put the below line, because as I said, it's very hard, very hard channel. And um, so I took these two candles uh, as a base and uh, tried to draw using also this candle. And we had some little ones candle and another one was here. So I thought, well, okay, let's try and see what would happen if uh, the market would move down again. I only need 30 pips movement to make my tenor. So if it I thought the first level would be 38, right? And then it would be 50. So if it would have stopped around 38, it shouldn't have taken us in trade because we have our 20 pips first, which would have been around here, uh, before we will go in the trade. So I thought, okay, right. So if it's around 50, if it will touch it, then it will probably move a little bit down more so I can make my... Um, 10 pips again because we know that usually market breaks the 50 and stops around 60 78 or maybe between 50 and 60 so i had uh, a possibility to actually make my 10 pips that's why i decided okay i will risk it uh, because also as i said uh, we knew that there were some 
news, not very big news, but uh, still kind of news. If it would be no news at all, then I wouldn't go for trade at all that day. And especially Friday, and very careful has to be with Fridays, uh, because it's the last day and the market is uh, going to stop and uh, uh, stop working for the weekend. So, and uh, of course, Fibonacci lines again. Um, as usual, if you will be watching, I would have, as I said, uh, in this quiet situation, we would expect moving about 50 pips. And so I put the other order because I wasn't going to watch the market. And um, uh, just below 127, I thought because it's very quiet market, so I will do it right below 127. And going down, the same from level 23, probably about 50 pips. So that's why I decided to put uh, the next one uh, a little bit higher than 78, so around 78. So I thought, okay, I'll put 30 pips up and 30 pips down profit, just in case if one will go back or the other one, something will show up, come out. And at the worst case, I would um, not lose anything or it would be lost 30 pips. So uh, you never know. So, and this will happen, uh, as you can see, the market moved up and it took me, so I had two as usual, a uh, few orders. The one is for 10 pips, so I made my profit 10 pips as usual. And uh, then the market took me into this other uh, trade and um, moved up to this level. And then I moved down and I moved up. So you can see, as I was saying to you, it will be trying to break that point. So that's why we had it twice coming back to this, but it didn't break it. You see the next candle closed uh, with red and went down. It's if, if that one would go higher than this one, we would have reached our 30 pips uh, target and um, maybe even higher, but it never happened. And that's why market returned. So it made me lose 30 pips because I had 30 pips target and 30 pips stop loss as usual. And then market moved down and it took me into the other trade. And uh, so I got uh, another um, plus 30 pips profit on level 78. So uh, at the end of the day, uh, it's all closed uh, with no profit for Fibonacci lines, but I still walked away with my 10 pips profit as usual. That's why I'm trying to tell you that uh, many of you think that uh, 3 to 1 is a high risk. But as I say, yes and no, because you can see it's more chances to get you 10 pips than to get higher profits than 30 pips, for example, as we're like trying to catch the bigger profit, we will have more losses before we will reach our targets. So uh, you might have few losses before you will make profit. But with 10 pips, in my eyes, as I'm trading it, uh, it's much more uh, successful than trying to get uh, bigger profits. So um, uh, here we go. It was a very risky day. I would say better not to trade. But if we would have been watching this, the charts, so you would have uh, reduced a little bit, as I say, your risks, because uh, as I like to try, uh, I like to trade it the way when I'm watching the charts is that close few positions at 10 pips, uh, and then uh, the rest of the positions waiting, uh, market going higher and higher uh, on each level and just uh, changing the stop loss behind it. So, um, uh, closing a few positions here would reduce the 30, complete 30 pips uh, loss when it was going backwards. And also right here would have been the same. Uh, I would have closed 10 pips uh, as usual uh, around here probably. And um, then we'll be watching just moving the um, stop loss. So um, that's how it would work, except um, not, uh, not way here where it was moving 30 pips. Because it was Friday and um, you would better do it uh, during the day, uh, trying to get uh, bigger targets. But um, this is Friday, I would have just probably closed at 78, especially knowing that I already made loss here. So I would have closed everything and um, just um, start a new week uh, without open positions at, at that point. So here we are. This is how the market behaved and um, how it worked. <laughs>